All right, once again, we are back in our studio kitchen on this Food City Friday. Registered dietitian Kirby Moyer has covered our bases with the fruits, and now we're moving on to all these fresh vegetables. And I'm glad you're working with squash and zucchini. feel like it's tis the season. 100%. And we talked about, you know, some of those berries and cherries, which are not in our region that we're going to find growing readily all the time. Um, these are some of those local grower picks that I wanted to feature today. Um, I know last week or a few weeks ago, you guys had a chance to visit Kingsport Farmers Market. Oh, it was beautiful. Hear a little bit about that local growers program. Yeah. And I figured I could give a little bit of insight of how to use some of those items and then really why we should be indulging in some of these locally grown options. Um, and this is actually a zucchini and squash casserole. Nice. I grew up eating a lot of fried squash. I think that's our <laughs> traditional southern way. I was like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes. I remember that too. This is super simple. You actually just slice your zucchini and squash into like um, half moons or quarter rounds. You're going to toss in with uh, whole wheat panko breadcrumbs, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, some seasonings, and then you're just going to do two layers. So a layer at the bottom, put a little cheese in between, a layer at the top. This is delicious in the summer months. It's great cold, but this infiltrates a lot of our um, kind of that squash with a little bit of tomato, tons of fiber, and what we also that's our, our theme here with this produce. Okay. We're not getting as much of that fried oil, but we're still getting that crispy little crunch. Okay. Um, so this is a great way if you're somebody that's like, I like the fried, more traditional style. This is kind of a lighter version on some of those comfort recipes we all enjoy. Yeah, I was gonna say the Parmesan cheese, you see that a lot when you're doing the fried, they're yep. adding that in. And then I'm loving the tomatoes in there. I think that's such a great combination with squash yes. and zucchini. And you know, what's so unique, I, I've talked about this new to Tennessee. So Granger County tomatoes are something that I had not had the pleasure of enjoying and I really was like what makes these things so great um, it is the limestone rich soil that we find in the parts of Tennessee these are grown so it's not just the seeds it's that part in Tennessee where it's coming from huh. and I picked up some Turley's tomatoes um, I kind of joke I'm like you can taste the passion in every single <laughs> bite um, that really they are outstanding and what I love about them they slice beautifully to enjoy fresh so while I went with these being cooked um, you know we're all going to be eating these BLTs all summer yes. long. So a way to kind of maybe add a little bit of extra fiber, a little extra nutrition. I actually combined my little bit of mayonnaise with some avocado oh, for nice. some more heart healthy fat. It gives a beautiful bite. I'm still featuring the bacon. We didn't lose that. I know. Well, Look at that. Four little slices <laughs> right there. Yes. Technically two cut in half. You <laughs> know. know. Makes it um, feel like you get a little more. <laughs> um, but that's this is our blat. So it's our bacon, lettuce, avocado, and tomato. But again, that's really something that we should be proud of that homegrown produce and I love that Food City features all those local growers. You get to see their stories and sometimes you'll catch them in there too. Um, so definitely look out for those Granger County tomatoes because that is something that is just astounding in these summer months. I love to read the little posters that you have up because yes. it just makes you appreciate where it comes from yes. knowing that it was right over here or this farm right over there. So, And I our weekly ad is about to have a couple little spotlights giving you some oh, more nice. history and, and kind of some more from the farmers. And I think, you know, the more connected we are with our food, the more proud we should be when we're eating it. And again, that is that Tennessee favorite. So mm, nice. And then look at this yummy salad. You put melon in with your lettuce. Yes. Yeah, so I actually chose to save. This is one of our fruits we're saving for our savory dishes. Melon is perfect. I mean, you can it's a fast food as we talk uh -huh. about. You can just chop it, um, eat it on the go, but I love to feature it in savory dishes. Watermelon um, and cantaloupe are both really, really high in water content. And why, why that's kind of good is that if you dress them, they're actually going to absorb some of that. Um, so I did a balsamic dressing in there, a little bit of onion, cucumber, basil, spinach, arugula. We mentioned with mm. that salad earlier, any of your grilled proteins you're putting out all summer long, this is a great way to kind of infiltrate that sweet and savory flavor. I think it's a little maybe unfamiliar from what we're seeing over here, but we can still <laughs> broaden our horizons and imagine that that fruit can go in that savory direction. Well, and I love that when I think of the salads, I always think of the berries. So I love that you're doing some of the melons and I love watermelon with feta. That's yes. just one of my favorite yep. combinations. I didn't even mention the feta. Thank you, Amy. Yeah, well, there's I, also some feta in there. I, for a minute, I was like, are those little cauliflower? Yeah, no, 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 we got a feta. little feta. Yes, little feta. and of course, you know, as we want to stay hydrated in these warm days, including fruits and vegetables that have a high water content will naturally hydrate you. So cucumber, the melon, we're hitting it all there. She's hitting it all, <laughs> all of our bases. Hey, she's got great recipes for all of this too. I've already got them. We're going to post them on our website later today. You can also find them on foodcity.com for more information information. Kirby, happy summertime. All these wonderful recipes. We love it. Yeah, we'll be right back.